The MTA is short a lot of money, and that's according to a new report by the New York State Controller. So how can it affect riders? CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge spoke to the transit system's top official. What we don't need is massive fare hikes and service cuts. We need a new financial model. In between transit committee meetings at 2 Broadway, we stopped MTA Chair Dano Lieber to ask about the state controller's report that shows the transit system will be short more than $2.5 billion per year once federal pandemic relief runs out in 2025. The controller's report validates what I've been saying for a year, which is the MTA has a serious financial crisis coming um, because of what we all know, which is the loss of about a third of our ridership. The MTA's overall operating budget for 2022 is around $20 billion. About a third comes from fares and tolls. But since COVID, ridership has only returned to 60% of pre-pandemic levels. The MTA says it can reduce these budget gaps by paying down debt and has found $100 million in unspecified savings. Well, by restructuring our debt, by doing efficiencies uh, on our own end without cutting jobs, but the controller says efficiencies alone can't fix shortfalls of this size. The MTA has already said decreasing transit service is not part of its economic recovery plan. Neither is fare hikes, which would cost riders an extra 79 cents per ride for the transit system to break even. The largest share of MTA revenue, 7.2 billion, comes from state tax funds, which the MTA could ask the legislature to hike. So we asked riders what they think would be the least painful solution, cutting service, raising fares, or increasing taxes. Not any of them, but I guess I take the fare increase. By raising fares, you're also disadvantaging other people. Raise fares. That's eventually what's going to happen anyway, but don't tax me. The head of the MTA says all branches of government need to come together to find a new funding model. The transit system adopts a new budget in the next few weeks. In Lower Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. You may be wondering about congestion pricing. Well, when it is implemented, that money is only used for capital improvements like building projects. So revenue won't go towards the MTA's operating budget.